Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video we are going to create an interactive candlestick chart using Python and Plotly. Now if you are new to this channel please go ahead and click that subscribe button for more videos on Python and programming and if you like the video please hit that like button. It'll help out with the YouTube algorithm. Now currently I'm on Google's website. It's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So let's go ahead and get started writing this code. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on file and then click on new notebook and a new tab open up for you and then eventually a new cell open up for you. Now before I begin writing any logic for the code, I want to talk a little bit about candlestick charts. So according to Wikipedia, a candlestick chart is a style of financial chart used to describe price movements of a security, derivative, or currency. And a candlestick has four main components. It has an open price, a closed price, a high price, and a low price for some given time period, which is usually within a day. Now the color, which is usually green, indicates that the security closed higher than it opened. While the other color, which is usually red, indicates that the security closed lower than it opened. And fun fact, candlesticks originated from Japanese rice merchants and traders. So let's go ahead and get started writing this code. So the first thing that I want to do is put a description and comments about the program. So I'm going to put description here. And then I'm going to put this program shows how to create an interactive candlestick chart in Python using Plotly. All right. Next, I'm going to create a new cell by clicking this code button in the top left. And in this cell, I'm going to import the libraries that I plan on using throughout this program. So I'm going to import Plotly dot graph underscore objects as geo and I'm going to import pandas as PD and then I'm going to run this cell by clicking this button here to the left and this may take some time but hopefully there are no errors so let's let it run just a little bit alright now it's done I'm going to go ahead and create a new cell and in this cell I'm going to load the stock data so from google.colab, I am going to import files and then I'm going to create a variable called upload it and set it equal to files.upload. All right, now I'm going to run this cell and then I'm going to click on choose files and I'm going to choose this amzn.csv file, which is Amazon stock data or contains Amazon stock data. And I'm going to create a new cell here. All right, next I'm going to store the data into a data frame. So I'm going to create a variable called df and set it equal to pd.read underscore csv. And I'm going to read in that file that I just uploaded, which is amzn.csv. And then I want to show the data. So I'm just going to type df here and then I'm going to run this and we can take a look at the data. So we can see that we have the column date. We have the column open price, the column high price, the column low price, close price, adjusted close price, and the volume. And then we can see the indices are all integer values. I want the indices to be the date. So I'm going to set the index here. So just type df and set it equal to df.set underscore index. And then type pd dot date time index, and then I'm going to input the date. So just type df date here dot values. And now if I run this, the indices should be changed, and they are. So we can see that here. We now have the date. All right. Next, let's go ahead and create a new cell now that we've stored this data. And in this cell, we are going to create an interactive candlestick chart. All right, so just type figure 
and set figure equal to go dot figure. Oops, go dot figure. All right, so there we go. That looks good. And we need to give this figure some data. So set data equal to a list. And in this list, we are going to type go dot candlestick. Okay. And now we can give this candlestick some data. So the candlestick will have uh, an X value. So it will be the date, which is df.index, which is where we stored it. It will also have the, the low price. So I'm gonna set low equal to df, and then we're gonna set it equal to the low price column. And then we need to give it a high. So we're gonna set high equal to uh, df high price. Okay, and it has a close price. I'm going to set close equal to DF close price. And it has an open price. So I need to set open equal to DF open price. And what else do we want on this? Okay, well, we want the, the line. We want it when it increases to be green and when it decreases to be red. So I'm going to type increasing underscore line underscore color, and I'm going to set it equal to red. And then I'm going to set the decreasing line. So just type decreasing line. I'm going to set the de decreasing line color equal to, I'm going to set the decreasing line equal to red, and I'm going to set the increasing line to green. So now that looks good. All right. And what else are we missing? So now that I'm done with that, I want to show the figure. So just type figure dot show. And let's run this. OK, and we didn't get any errors. So this is the chart here. And what we can see is that when you take your mouse and you hover over one of these candlesticks, we get back what we put there, which is the date the open price, the, the high price, the low price, and the close price. And you can see that the increasing line is green. Okay, and then we can see that the decreasing lines are all red. Okay, now what makes this interactive? Well, this nice little slider down here allows us to zoom in to a specific date or a candlestick. So just by doing that, we can use this slider and it makes it, you know, pretty interactive there. All right. So I think that's pretty cool. Let's change the colors. So I'm going to make this orange and I'm going to make this black. And let's run this. Okay. So now you can see how easy it is to change the colors on the chart for the candlesticks. And let's go back up here and let's do some more changes. So I'm going to update the layout. So just type figure dot update underscore layout. And we're going to get rid of that slider. So just type x axis underscore range slider underscore visible. And we're going to set that equal to false. OK, so now if I run this we'll see that the slider is now indeed gone. So does that mean that you can no longer zoom in? Well, no, that's not what that means. So what I can do is I could just zoom in like this to a specific date. Okay, so you can see you just zoom in. It's still very interactive and we can still get the information that we want. All right, so I'm going to just comment this out. And Let's update the layout one more time. So just type figure dot update underscore layout. And this time I'm going to give this chart a title. So I'm going to set title equal to Amazon price. 
and I'm going to give the y-axis a title. So just type y-axis underscore title. And I'm going to set it equal to Amazon stock price USD. Then put a nice little dollar sign. And I will give the x-axis a title. And I'm going to set it equal to date. And let's run this. Okay, so now we can see the title here it says Amazon price. We can see the Y axis has the Amazon stock price USD title, and then we can see the X axis has date. All right, so that's basically it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I would like to say thank you to everyone supporting me on Patreon.com, and a special thanks to Tate Valdez for supporting me. If you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe others will find it helpful as well. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.